Hi everybody, welcome back. Laura here and yes, I'm thinking it's spring so I'm presenting myself as a human flower. I hope you enjoy yourself watching me. Why can't we? I mean, we are here to create. So what are we talking about today? Well, I'm not gonna get too crazy on this one because the information is, mm, let's just say it's pretty, uh, heavy duty and you know telling you why we're here and how this world began is yeah it's kind of like a big topic maybe just a little bit so um yeah I'm gonna have a sip of my drink because this makes me nervous all right you know I've always known I was different I've known it since I was little and the reason I know I was different is because I've been shown it and um, all of that just for me to come here and tell you what this world is all about in my own little way. Um, the information's been out there. It's been out there for a very, very, very long time. But most of us are too caught up in distractions and other things like everything else before we even sit with ourselves and figure out okay like why am i here and uh, what is this place and how did how, how was creation done now if you can for a minute put away everything you've been taught momentito senorito please okay because you guys know that there is misinformation everywhere okay a lot especially in this topic and there is a reason for it because um, we have forces that are called like negative polarity or negative people okay these are people that uh, have determined to make themselves the priority okay so basically they are of service to self and there's people that are service to self and there's people that are service to others and there's everybody in between. The majority of people are in between. They're not totally bad. They're not totally trying for helping the world. They're somewhere in the middle. They're trying to muddle through and we're trying to get by and pay our bills and all that kind of thing. This is called the law of confusion. The reason for the law of confusion is because imagine this, if you are pure love and light, you want to experience variety or contrast. So what has been created here is so that you can, as little baby spirits, experience contrast, which is a lot of confusion, a lot of negativity, a lot of crap. Um, and in order for you to uh, gain your little wings, gain your little spiritual wings, and the negatives have to be really, 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 really negative in order to get their little daggers <laughs> or their, you know, space weird stuff, devil stuff. Okay, so they are called, they're coming from a place called, I'm going to say this and I'm going to need to protect myself when I even say the word. Now I'm going to ask my angels. For a little help on this one because i'm gonna have to say it before i get shut up to not say it who are these bad guys they come from the orion group breathe angels michael gabriel Raphael, and uriel please protect me as i relieve my brain of this information and share it with the world because this is huge and those that run YouTube, I'm sure, have affiliations with the Orion Group, and this might not ever be seen. So, um, those are the elite, okay? Those are people that when you wake up in the morning, you think, how can this, there be so much evil in the world if God is God and blah, blah, blah. Okay, because guess what? We chose this. We chose the experience of being involved in this law of confusion because in order to choose to make the choice, choose either negative or choose positive, in the end, 
in the end, all dogs go to heaven, okay? So there are densities. There's one, guys, I told you go fire, earth, rain, fire, earth, water, and wind. The next density is your plants and animal life. The third density on earth was called us. However, the earth already has progressed itself into fourth density, which is love. So we are on what's called um, 375, 325 thousand year cycles. The first 25 years, thousand year cycle, we were humans here. Um, well, we were created in multiple ways. It's not so important the how as to the why. So whatever you believe, whether it's evolution, whether it's we're aliens, whether it's, um, you know, uh, we were tampered with genetically or la la la, all is correct. All is correct. However, we were given one special trait. This is like our little guidance system, okay? The, this is our internal guidance system. There are seven chakras, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and the top on our head is like our transmitter. It is purple or violet or whatever you want to call it. Most people begin here, we'll just use this little lady. So the red one is kind of like your survival mode, okay? The orange one is like where you begin to learn to create and do all that stuff. The yellow one is where you want to make all your money or whether you get trauma from people treating you horrible. This is like yellow. That's why I'm wearing yellow because this is my weakest. This is what I'm working on right now. This is what I've been meditating on because this is why I came here is to fix this guy right here. Um, from past lives, from all the things. Heart chakra, the negative polarity can't open. They can't open this one. However, they still, if they can get the rest going, they still can graduate into the other places. Sound out of this world? It is. Continue on, Laura. We're going to continue on. There's a lot to say, you guys. Let me explain. I'm going to do a whole video on this, but the reason that I know this is because I've come from higher dimensions. People call them star seeds, people call them light workers, people call them all kinds of things, indigo children, whatever. We're on our last 25,000 year cycle. So the world began with people on it approximately 75,000 years ago, okay? So the first round of 25,000 years ago, the very first 25,000 years was kind of like the bumping around beginning stages of things where there was no, they, they use the word harvest, and I don't want to say that in a word that is a negative, like, uh, I want to use that in a word like, we're a beautiful garden, we're a beautiful flower. And that's why I wore flowers today to explain, like, we are here to balance these so that we can become co-creating with the creator. And for me... I knew as a, as a very small child there was something different about me. I was already getting attacked with negative energies in as the youngest I can remember, three, four, five years old, I can remember constantly getting attacked because somehow, some way they knew someday I'd be sitting here telling you the story. And so apologies ahead of time if this video is a little longer. I don't know how long it's going to go because I can't joke around too much with this one because it's a big topic but i'll do my best to keep it light okay it's not devil versus god okay however they are a challenge and they are trying to reach up 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 higher and they've got so far to the fifth density so right now um there's no negative polarity no negatives in sixth seventh and eighth is like the rinse and repeat of it all. I'll explain all that later. So the interesting thing is we are sent here also to learn to love the negative as well, however hard that is, if you decide you want to be a positive. So the negative polarity stuff I will explain much more in detail as the videos go on. It's not that 
important because the only powers they have, like if you're getting psychically attacked or if you're getting any kind of actual attacks by negative things, negative energy, that is something I'll teach later, okay, how to deal with. But for me, back to the story, is that I was given information as a very young child. At 13, I was given a dream where I went into battle with the big guy, the devil. Well, he's not that big, actually. He's just a nuisance. So, but as a child, I was terrified of the devil, always. Because he was he was haunting on, on me, and I was pretty defenseless at that young age. And in this dream, I went into multiple battles with the devil, and in the end of the dream, I'm, I'm speeding this up because if I told you the whole dream, it would take the whole video. In the end of the dream, what had happened was um, the, the devil was throwing these massive boulders at me, okay, and I was fighting them off. And there was one massive boulder, and my arm was getting exhausted, and I was getting beaten up. And it went back like this, and I could no longer handle the weight of this boulder. And something in me asked God in the dream for help, help to God. And in that dream, a beam of light, love light, came in me, through me, and supercharged my entire body. It's, it's a bliss, a love, a, a internal feeling like there, there is nothing other than sitting in the sunshine that can even come close, or love, love light, that can put into words what that experience is. If you ever had it, if you ever feel it, you want it forever, okay? Like every possible good feeling in the universe thrown into you, okay? It was just something at 13 I will never forget. Now, when I woke up in the morning, my arm was torn up. Nothing was moved in my bed. My blankets were the same, whether I was thrashing or not, it doesn't really matter the magic behind it. What matters is I never forgot the love light experience. I might have put it at the back of my mind and kind of like put it down, but I never forgot it. Um, and this experience, now that I've learned what I've learned now as an adult, um, was the uh, catalyst to make me understand what this is all about um, because if you've experienced love light in that kind of way uh, yeah like ask near-deathers they don't forget it okay they don't I mean this is becoming ridiculous now where people are like there's no such thing there's every such thing that's the reason that we're thrown here without memory is because the experience would hold no value if you knew for sure what you were if you knew for sure that you were just pure love and light with this internal guidance system like a ship that has to balance itself in order to find its way home ET, we would not go through the catalytic experience that we go through. Because when we do it, and we do it right, we are charged up a hundred times more than any other experience we can have or any uh, experience we can even have up there. So our existence here is vitally important to the creator. Every single particle of this earth, including you, no exceptions, is part of the creation. And so once you understand that, we are actually creating, like thus far, the world, let's say 30 years ago when this information came out, really solidly. It was done through um, an entity called Ra, which you guys have been hearing me talk about, Kamanka Ra, um, trans, like channeled through a group of three that were all beings of light that came here to incarnate in the earth to get us the information. Now, the Orion group has done everything in their power to keep it on the down low, but the information is completely completely accessible to you not just to me to you there is 106 sessions and if you listen to each and every one of them which if you want to do it in two months would take you about 12 hours a day to do every bit of the questions that you probably have are within this package of knowledge linked below that you can listen to yourself okay 
But if you want a quicker version of it, I can bring that to you. All right? So if you want every answer to every question in the universe, like and subscribe and be part of this community because we want to show the negative polarities, which I'm sure are going to watch this too, what we are capable of in the positive because it's time, guys. And let, so the first 25,000 years, nada. They didn't get any harvest. Nobody was harvestable. Nobody got went to full positive or full negative nothingness. Okay, we're going to go to the second 25,000 years. The next 25,000 year period was another group of, you know, us who we did have a better grasp of more. Just because it's old doesn't mean that we're, how do I say this? Just because it's old doesn't mean it's less advanced. So that, let's just do it real quick. So the next 25,000 years, there was a few graduates, we'll say graduates, but because of their wisdom came back again in order to polarize even further or take the opportunity to help others. So many, many, many of those from that are like really well known in our last 25,000 year period, we're also you know, incarnated in the second round. So we're in round three right now at the very, very end of it. And that is why I've come. That is why many light workers have come. That is why we're ascending into a higher dimension on earth because um, the earth needs to clean itself off and we need to be light and love. It can't handle much more. Look what we've done to this place. It's been a, it's a hot mess. It's just Mother Gaia has been beaten down. We need to make this a fourth dimension planet and we'll be shipped off either up there or to other, if you're negative somewhere else, I'll tell you about that later. Or um, if you are fourth density, you might come back here as a fourth density being, it just depends. So sound woo woo, the truth is stranger than fiction. Okay, this is one thing that you're gonna have to accept shut down your brain, shut down your logic. It's time to learn the truth. Where do we come from? Okay, so now I'll get into it. You know the whole book, women are from Mars, men are from, no, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, not that far from the truth. So we did inhabit Mars. What had happened was Mars had a big blow up. Uh, you know, free will is in here and they, basically ruin their planet and so they got shipped here just like we're going to get shipped somewhere else if we don't graduate so um that happened in there's all kinds of planets there's a huge universe you guys come on look outside your window this is we are not the only ones just because we can't see people on a planet doesn't mean that there's not entities and there's not spirit so come now come now it's time to be grown-ups let's do this Okay, so that happened. We were tinkered with the bipedals here with, um, and you know, call them like evolution. Okay, yeah, but we were tinkered with because second density beings don't have this system in them. They don't have this. They can, they can ev evolutionize into it, but they, you know, this has to be, given. So that is the difference between us. Okay. We are spirits in a physical form. So we have come in all kinds of, from all kinds of places, in all kinds of shapes, in all kinds of whatevers, and either taken on this human form or we've evolutionized. So everybody's right. Everybody can stop fighting about it now. Okay. So recap, it's not so much the um, where we came from or how we got here or what happened. It, it matters that um, we are all given a guidance, this internal guidance system called the chakra system. And without that, yeah, we are not, we are spirit. We, we are, let me say this right. We are mind, body, spirit complexes together. So once we leave this planet or leave our bodies or leave generally, then um, we are go back to our spirit selves and um, 
either rinse and repeat or ascend or go off to some nasty planet with the negatives, okay? Ugh. Everybody's fighting for power, everybody's trying to beat everyone else, everyone's out for themselves, and it is nasty. So the reason this is all coming out now is because, you know, this planet is coming to the last 100 to 700 years of its last cycle, the 25,000 year cycle, in which we're going to um, be either taken to where we have to go. So I know where I'm going. I'm going back to that love light thing because let me tell you what, it is beyond, if, if those, that little bit of time that I experienced it might have been only been a minute or so, uh, to remember it for entirety of your life, that one feeling, that one time. If you've ever been in love, like happy in love, that is just a nick of it compared. It's a nick of it. Is it worth it to do the work? Yes, and let me tell you, our little life here, let's say we live 90 years on average, if we can get there, our original lifespan was 900 years. What had happened with all the negativity, all of the negative polarity, is it wore down our life cycle to 90 years. So now we're rinse and repeating a lot, coming back here a lot, but um, which is fine, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get where we need to get to eventually anywhere. Anyway, but um, where was I going with this? Oh, life cycle. So yeah, don't be scared because you're in good hands. You're in good hands. It is different than what you think it is. We don't go up there floating and doing no work. We go into a kind of heaven vacation for a little while. And then we have to go back to work. We either have to come back here or we gotta go to work in other capacities because it's a big universe to have to operate and the creator needs help. And so there are guardians, there are angels, there are all of the above that that have to basically relearn what we already knew originally, which is that we're just pure love and light. We kind of fractal ourselves here to um, experience variety, to experience catalyst, so that we may learn of ourselves, more about ourselves, take all that information into the Akashic Records and uh, learn from it and keep growing because it's infinite like the sign of the eight symbol it's infinite it just keeps going and going and going now our cycles here 90 years the next one in fourth is 90,000 so it's like a blink so it's like a blink if you can get this place right and you can ascend to the fourth do what you need to do to do this to balance this then um, and to be in service of others, then you get to do 90,000. And uh, yeah, the uh, food and the music's pretty good up there, I'll tell you that. If you are getting hit by any negativity or anything by watching this, or if you're getting any psychic attacks like out of nowhere, like all of a sudden you start feeling bad, there are energies, there are spirits watching you, if you're planning to ascend or go for something better for yourself, you are going to be of a target, which I heavily was. So um, I've been watched since I've been born and I've had nothing but attacks, but I persevered through it. Uh, if you guys would see me, what I look like now, I was heavy, I was, I couldn't walk, I couldn't speak, I couldn't function as a human being because of how heavily I was attacked. And I mean, that went on up until like only, let's say, three years ago. All of it. So if you think you can't make it out, if you think you can't persevere through whatever it is you're going through, you are incorrect. You can be very quiet in your little corner and still be able to do this. You can do anything. You're super powered. And if you get hit with negativity, you want to hit them back, not with negativity, but with love light. They hate it. 
it's like when you see those Dracula movies. It's like the light. They hate it. Send them love and light. Put a white bubble around you and then send the love and light to yourself. Ask Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and I should call him by the first name, Angel, Archangel, mind you, Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, and um, Uriel. Oh, I said them, right? Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyway. Ask them for protection. There are certain protection exercises you can do. Um, we'll talk about that later. But if you just ask for that for now, you, you'll be okay. And if you know that energy is not yours, if it just comes out of nowhere, you need to sit down, you need to close your eyes, and you need to ask for protection. You need to send love and light to the energy, and they will leave you. They will leave you. They can't stay around the love light energy. And it's hard when you're you're sitting in a, in, in a soup inside your brain and inside your body, right? And it's painful. So just expect that um, that's gonna happen if you start going towards this goal of getting up there. So we come here with a life plan, you guys. So we come here with a life plan to come and work on our weakest chakras or to polarize us in a way to a point where we can learn to balance ourselves out. The very best way to do that is going to be through meditation but not meditation the way that you know it to be I will talk about meditation in a later video it will be too long for that um, but uh, I will teach you how to meditate in a way that will ascend you essentially okay so stick with me I, I know I joke around a lot I know I do a lot of theatrics I do that almost to throw them off my scent because what I have to share with you is universe changing period. Um, it's the secrets of the universe, all of them. I'm not holding nothing back. I'm giving you all of them. And I know a lot, a lot more than you would ever see with this flowery face girl with a bunch of makeup on a lot. Um, they gave it to me to tell you and hoping that my kooky little ways are going to make you laugh, make you engaged and not, um, not invoke fear because fear is opposite of love and light so if you feel fearful that is a negative entity you need to deal with it you need to go and do that bubble thing if you're even watching this likely you've got some sophistication but you guys have to understand there's a lot of newer souls here who are unsophisticated they're just brand new they don't know what's going on they got plopped here and you have to give them love and light and it, understand that they're not going to know it's like you're, you're talking another language they're not going to understand a word you're saying they're going to think you're full of it they don't believe anything they don't know what to believe they're just brand new it's like babies so you're not going to yell at a baby to listen when they're babies okay spiritually speaking i am of the most ancient that has been walked upon this earth and so i know more i've been given more entrusted with more um, but understand that everybody's equal. We all are just as important and you have to give love and respect to even those who are um, un unknowing, ignorant as to their own spiritual abundance, their own spiritual ways. So um, I laugh when people say, are you spiritual? Do you believe in it? We're all spiritual hello but we can't be told that when we come here or the whole law of confusion and the reason that we we'll come here will be ruined and we get amnesia when we come here it's called the great forgetting and only there's only a few that are given this information so that the whole project isn't ruined but there has to be enough guidance otherwise we are going to be walking around aimlessly forever not knowing who we are because now we've been more negatively there's more negative oriented than there is positive so i'm here to balance the scales period i'm here to balance the scales there are more of me but i know my purpose i'm here to balance that scale out and we're doing this those who want to join me in this and uh help balance that scale out so that more people who are on the verge of ascending can be ascended. And the way to do that is knowledge. Knowing who you are, knowing why you're here, knowing what this whole 
crazy games about. So do you want to know what the upper densities are? I'll tell you real quick. We'll go into them in more detail. So number four, it's not a place. It's, it's, a, it's a, a spiritual landing. So it's fourth density is love, pure love. That's the green chakra. That's this one in the middle with the heart in it. And fifth density is wisdom. So understanding it all is fifth density. And fifth density is actually your logos, your sun. And if you think the sun is just sun rays and a bunch of fusion, you're incorrect. There's spirits in there making babies. Every sun ray you get in here is babies coming down. Isn't that cute? So next time you guys look at the sun, know you're looking at little babies coming down because they're seeding the earth from every organism on this earth needs the sun. So those are, that is the fifth density contribution. Yeah, they're doing a lot of hoo -hoo -hoo up there, fusioning to make a lot of babies. So um, fifth density also has a great sense of humor, by the way. So it's a good, it's a good old time. You want to hit the fifth. Sixth is where you get like management material, confederation, stuff like that. Um, and then going up into the seventh, you're, oh, sorry. Six is love and wisdom combined. So once you get to six, you understand everything or well, most things. You have a pretty good idea what this universe is about. Sixth is love and wisdom together. So fourth and fifth together. Seventh is, okay, am I going too far? So you join the creator, kind of like the master planner with the creator. And then eighth goes back into pure light love. And then we go into a black hole and we pop out the other side and we do it again. So it's infinite. However, um, there are those that choose to incarnate back into third and those that don't. So there is free will at all levels. It's just that once you get up higher into the wisdom part of things, you know everybody in that system understands that they're more, it's more of a group thing and you are going to learn to get along or you ain't making it to the sixth, basically. So all of these little neater natter horrible people that have treated you bad or done anything, love them because eventually you got them beat, okay? So then all this information goes into the great big library in the sky. Every single thought, every single thing you do, every free will choice that we make goes into the Akashic Records. The name of the game is to get figured out what makes this work, mind, body, and spirit working together to help you. So we've all done lots of stuff. I've done stuff, we've done stuff, addictions, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. Those are just to teach you to get to a balanced place. Once you get to a balanced place and your vitality skyrockets because you're eating right, you're moving your body, and you're using your spiritual compass to gain knowledge and wisdom, then you're going to unstoppable, okay? Unstoppable, unstoppable. So I'm polarized to the positive. No shade to the shadies who are polarized negative. They have a reason to be here as well. And you know, without them, we wouldn't have the lessons that we have. So in the third, so you know, we love to hate them. That's all I can say, but we got to still love them. And then, um, so basically the idea is 51% of you, 51% of yourself has to be in positive polarity in service to others rather than yourself. We'll, we'll talk much more about this later. Service to others rather than yourself. If you're going to be polarized negative, you have to be 95% or higher polarized to just serving yourself. To tell you how hard this is, I told you guys before, H didn't make it, you know, H-I-T, it, 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 and then blur. He did not make it because he thought he was doing something good for his, you know, people. 
So he didn't make it. He he's all tangled up in a in a he's in he's in a decompression chamber up there trying to figure out how to straighten this all out in his head. <laughs> so um, to be polarized fully negative like that takes a lot of commitment and dedication to it, and it's not easily attained um, because you are skipping over this guy here. You go from here, 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 and then you go here, and then here, and up. You still are attached to that part, but you, your heart's not open because for you to love, you have to love others, right? So that, that is their density in a nutshell. 75,000 years ago, three cycles. First one, they didn't get any fruit from. Second one, they did get a little tiny bit of fruit, but everybody was wise enough to come back and try to get the most fruit from this, like little spiritual fruit or little spiritual flowers blossoming out of this last 25,000 year cycle. Where we don't know, it's too difficult to get an exact time when this whole thing is going to be etched sketch, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it, just do your thing. Likely it's not yet. So um, the next one to 700 years could be, you could be here seven more times already. So just chill, don't be scared. There's nothing to be scared about. Let me tell you, that love and light, you want that. Mm -hmm. You want that one. So that's how we got here, who we are, how long we've been here, why we're here in the fastest I could possibly explain it, of course in all the videos to come. I'm going to go into great detail. If any of you have a question about what I've said or a comment, or if it's horrible, I'll still tell you I love you. That's the thing. Give it, you can give it to me any way you want to give it to me. I'm still going to say I love you because guess what? Here's the final sentence. We are in the end all one. So we were one to begin with, love and light. We decided to do this experimental thing to come to this whole earth thing and figure it all out. We have guides. We have all these things. They're in spirit. So you got to be listening. We'll talk about that later. But this is an introduction into who we are. Okay. I don't even know how I'm going to title this, but I'll figure it out. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this informed you. I, I have the answers for you. You just got to hang in there and uh, let me help. Let me help you lessen the confusion because we're getting close to the end and they've allowed me to tell you. So I will. All right. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.